One of the companies featured on this channel often is Cerebrus, the people who make that chip as big as your head. Now, in the past, we've covered the fact that Cerebrus want their chip to scale to 192 systems. They've developed MemoryX and SwarmX, a memory and connectivity topology, to connect 192 of these systems capable of supporting 10 trillion parameter models. In the world of natural machine, uh, natural language processing, that's a huge amount of data. But the question is, can a workload truly scale to that many systems? Well, recently, as part of Supercomputing 2022, Cerebrus has announced Andromeda, a new supercomputer that's being deployed uh, in, in the cloud for people to use that can run up to 16 of these wafer scale engines at once. Cerebrus shared some data with us about the performance of what such a large system can do. They show GPT-3 and GPT-J up to 20 billion parameters, scaling effectively linearly for the whole 16 systems. I think even in worst case, we had a 14.3x improvement on 16 systems versus one. Why is this important? Well, Cerebrus' whole big uh, value prop is having such a large chip means that you do not need to break your workload into, multi in, into to deal with the fact that you have multiple, say, GPUs and manage the data between them. Data between uh, different pieces of silicon is slow. You manage to keep it on chip and it's still relatively fast. But when you scale, when you do a wafer scale out to so many wafer scale engines, you still have that on, uh, on chip, off chip transition, which can add latency and decrease performance. So the whole thing here is about how can you effectively scale linearly to lots and lots of systems. With GPUs, with certain workloads, that's fairly difficult. And what Cerebrus is demonstrating here with Andromeda is the fact that for natural language processing, which is the topic of the day, they scale really, really well. Their whole ecosystem is such that if you can scale that well, you also have to need to program it that well. And they're saying that if you program it for one system, the uh, compiler manages to, see, manages to see that if you want one system, two, four, eight, or 16, it will it will convert the program for you with as the compiler to be able to scale across that many systems with the only code change being number of systems equals. So if you want access to this in the cloud, uh, Cerebrus are partnering with a cloud scale provider. I'll put a link down below. Uh, so if you want to get access to one of these systems and uh, you know, you've got the money to pay for it, uh, you can check it out below. Exactly how much one of these systems cost if you want it yourself to buy, they haven't told us the pricing of that yet. The nearest we have is around two, two and a half million, but that was for the first generation. And the only reason we know that is Pittsburgh Supercomputing Center got a $5 million grant and purchased two systems. That was first gen. This is second gen, maybe a little bit more expensive. Uh, but I spoke to CEO Andrew Feldman at Cerebrus. I asked when somebody puts in an order, how quickly can you get them a system? And he said, 90 days. I know x86 OEMs who can't even produce servers in that in, in that time frame. So one Cerebrus, uh, one C Cerebrus CS2 wave scale engine, 15U, plug in the power, plug in the networking, get your software stack, PyTorch, TensorFlow, and away you go. So my minimum specification here is where is the limit? 16 systems, 32, 64, or we go up to the full 192 that Cerebrus is promising that this scales up to. Well, we might have to wait for wave scale engine three, or maybe four, or just for Cerebrus to get a really big customer. We know that they have dozens of customers already, they're generating revenue, and in this harsh AI world where we're starting to see other companies flounder, the unique value prop of the wafer scale engine is really coming to the fore this time around.